We've all been told that becoming a data analyst is one of the best things you can do, with a high salary and the option to work from home. But that is not the reality for many people, and there are lots just fighting to get into the field without even landing their first job, even after trying for years. Recently, it's only gotten worse and more competitive, with jobs asking for degrees and even entry-level jobs demanding work experience, which should be almost illegal, right? And now with AI, will there even be data analyst jobs in 10 years? In this video, we're gonna cover all of this, so let's answer the first question right away. Can complete begin still become data analysts? The answer is yes, but unfortunately not everyone and many people are going to fail under these new circumstances. Let me explain. A data analyst is someone that collects, cleans and interprets data to answer a question or solve a problem. The responsibilities will vary depending on the company and the position, but the underlying objective is making data useful for companies to help them make better decisions. Now it can be a little bit confusing, so let me tell you that data analytics is the term that we use for the field itself. Where Whereas data analysis, on the other hand, is the process of acquiring insights from our data to help inform business decisions. So one is a job title, the data analyst, one is the field, data analytics, and one is a specific process, data analysis. Now, what skills do you need? It is pretty straightforward, actually. SQL is going to be your best friend to deal with databases, simply put, and Microsoft Excel. Of course, you'll do some things there, but it's not the primary thing employers look for, as general Excel skills are pretty common nowadays. Knowing either Python or R is also very helpful and they're in high demand. Python is a more versatile programming language, but R is a great option too. Power BI and Tableau are some data visualization softwares which can help you create, well, data visualizations and more. And also it's great to know one of them. In general, the key to success in any field and especially data analytics is to be T-shaped. This means that you have a general understanding of data analytics and the applicable tools. And then perhaps you're really good with SQL or something else and you can stand out with your SQL skills. Now let's talk about the job opportunities and how the future looks like for data analysts. Will there still be jobs in 10 years and is this actually a future-proof career? So I wasn't able to find any good source for the job growth for data analysts specifically. What I did instead was look at the US Bureau of Labor Statistics and the data scientist role instead. Here the projected growth is around 35% from the year 2022 to the year of 2032. So 35% job growth. This is actually way faster than average and most other careers. Now I believe that data analytics is growing at a relatively fast pace as well, perhaps not as fast as a data scientist, but there are plenty of jobs out there. But I also believe that it's very hard to get a job, which kind of creates a dilemma. I read a really interesting post about this on LinkedIn that mentioned a few reasons why people are struggling to get jobs. And I want to go through this one right now. First, he writes, it's a lack of specialized skills. With the increasing demand for data analysts, employers are now looking for more specialized skills beyond basic data analysis. Data visualization, machine learning, and programming skills are becoming increasingly important important for data analysts to possess. Now, I agree with this one to some extent, but I don't think it's the main reason. The barrier to entry when it comes to specific skills haven't really changed all that much. The next reason, he says, is tough competition. The high demand for data analysts means that there is also a tough competition for jobs. Many employers receive a large number of resumes for each job opening, making it difficult to, well, for candidates to stand out. This one is 100% true. There are a lot of people trying to become data analysts, especially because it's been promoted as this perfect perfect job for non-technical people and, you know, just deal with some data and get an awesome salary. Even on YouTube, some of the best performing videos are these day in the life of data analyst, where someone just drinks coffee and writes a few queries in SQL. People want a lifestyle. It's a popular field and that's why it's so competitive as well. Now, the third reason is really interesting and he says that it's a lack of industry experience. Employers often look for candidates with relevant industry experience, which can be challenged for entry-level data analysts. And this one I definitely agree with. There is a high demand for professionals but not necessarily at the entry level. And that's also where all the competition exists. So no wonder that it's difficult to get a job. Be honest, if you could afford to hire a guy that knew everything, would you actually go out of your way to hire a beginner? I don't think so. Now let's talk about AI. I think it is a game changer and we're already starting to see it. With AI, we'll be able to do the same thing now, easier and faster than ever before. The best thing to do is just integrate AI into your learning. Just make sure you're actually still learning and not just, you know, cheating with AI. So now we know what to learn. We we know that the job market, while it isn't perfect by any means, isn't a total catastrophe either. So what do we do now to make sure that we're the ones getting a job and succeeding? Here's what you can do. You can either build a really solid portfolio. The best way is by creating personal projects that you work on that showcase
showcase your skills. Ideally, these are kind of the same ones that are decided by employers, like SQL and so on. And don't forget the basics. They are more important than anything else. Optimize your resume, make it really targeted to the data analyst role, and to showcase that you're serious. While it's certainly great to have many skills, companies don't want a part-time chef, part-time salesperson, and a part-time analyst. They want a dedicated data analyst. You can also get certified. Now, this is not necessary, but it can help you stand out from the crowd, especially if you've tried the other options and nothing seems to be working. I made this video here where I went through the top seven data analyst certifications, which you can watch right here. And uh, I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching and good luck on your journey.